Good afternoon folks. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be replating or reflasking some orchid seedlings. And in this case we're using Dendrophylax lindenii, which is also known as a ghost orchid, and also Rengis decoriana from Madagascar. Now the first thing to note is that I've sterilized the entire surface that you can see in the background as well as my gloves, surgical gloves. Uh, and I'm applying uh, IPA which is isopropyl alcohol giving it a good rub to sterilize my hands it's the most important thing that you can learn from this video any germs whatsoever will contaminate your agar I have also got quite airy arms so I've got some arm coverings on which I'm also sterilizing by spraying them with isopropyl alcohol. It's important to note that there's no naked flames around otherwise I'd go up like lightning. So once you've sterilized everything uh, make sure you've got a cloth to hand, in this case it's a paper towel, kitchen towel for wiping down the surfaces. This is also coated or soaked in isopropyl alcohol and I'm using a sheet of glass which again is sterilized using the same IPA to make sure that there's no bacteria of any description no yeast, no fungal spores or any, any description in there just to keep the contamination down so we'll give that a good wipe and place it down on the sterilized surface what you could use instead of a glass sheet you could use uh, some of the disposable petri dishes which are pretty cheap uh, but again you, what you need to do is sterilize it by spraying with isopropyl alcohol IPA and giving it a good wipe down top bottom sides everywhere put your cloth back down now I've also got a large pair of tweezers uh, these are quite thin tweezers as you can see which is also being sterilized now they look dark because they've actually been in a incinerator to sterilize them but you can wipe them with isopropyl alcohol and today what we're using is the flasklets with replate medium which are available on the link that you can see now at the bottom of the screen these are in packs of three inside is sterile uh, but outside I'm going to spray with IPA again to make sure that there's no bacteria or any other kinds of contaminants give it a good rub all over on all the surfaces make sure you get into the folds because you've got to keep things as sterile as possible you only need one invisible bacteria to destroy an entire batch of plants so take a bit of time when doing this now the flasks inside the packets are already sterilized so you don't need to wipe those down and these are black at the bottom because they've got charcoal in the mix give your gloves another wipe down sterilize 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 just keep that in mind and the first one we're going to do is Arengis decoriana which is a lovely fragrant flower from Madagascar and these plants are around about an inch high you probably see better from the side so you want to wait until they're around about that high about an inch uh, before, you want, before you want to consider replating so we're now ready to begin take one of your flasks or flasklets remove the cap and put it in the fingers as shown holding the bottom of your sterile container and using your tweezers remove a single plant I'm placing it down on the sterile paper and getting a better grasp and gently slide it down into the agar medium and you want to aim to get the roots into the medium so that it's got a good grip 
put the forceps back down onto the sterile surface and put your cap on as quickly as possible give it a tight and now we're ready for the next one I'll do a few of these just so that you get to an idea of how it works another plant better grasp into the growing medium and I'm just pushing that root in you see on with the cap as quickly as possible and again cap between fingers grab another plant get a better grasp of it into the growing medium now if you don't manage to get all of the roots into the growing medium it's not a big problem because the roots on most of these plants are aerial roots anyway so they'll happily grow away in no time at all really what, you, what you're aiming to do is anchor the plant into the jelly so it's not wobbling around everywhere if you've got a long root grab the tip of it and pull it down like that rather than trying to push the plant from the top because what you'll invariably do is crack that root so it's better to grab it by the tip and push it in I'll just do another one for you in the fingers grab your plant reposition and in she goes Tweezers on the sterile surface, and that's the job done. Now replace the lid, and I can come back to them at some time in the future and, and replate some more of them. And that's now sterile again on the inside. This this packet is Dendrophylax lindenii, or the ghost orchid, which is from. Florida, Cuba and the Caribbean Islands it's also known as a ghost orchid or palm poly it's got lovely f up to 5 inch flowers on it now these flaskets have already been sterilised once but I'm doing it again just to remind you of how important it is to sterilise the outsides of the everything and again as we've said earlier inside the packets is already sterile the medium is sterile and the environment is sterile so remove your flasklets sterilize the hands again and I'm also going to sterilize the forceps because we've been in one jar with them and I'm spraying with IPA and I'm going to give them a wipe on the sterile paper towel so that there's no contaminants on them tweezers so again remove the top between the fingers and grab a plant now you'll note on these plants they don't actually have any leaves it's really effectively just a little cluster of roots and that's how they grow they will never have leaves so on with the cap as fast as possible there you go, show you that one now that's just literally just into the surface just enough to grab a hold of it to stop it moving around too much show you that again grab this one grab, get a better grab of it in fact this one's got three little plants in it so I'm going to separate them out you could plant the little ones into these jars but I've got plenty of big ones so I'm going to use them instead so it's just into the surface there we go just enough to grab it on with the lid now these plants would normally grow on twigs and branches so they don't grow in a pot uh, so at some point in the future when they get a little bit bigger you will need to mount these plants on wood you can do it on a flat wood plaque or you can just do it on a branch the important thing with these is that they will need high humidity and that's it job done that's a smaller one but it will grow away 
replace the lid onto your flasks so you can come back again in the future and do some more of them wash your hands all done hope you enjoyed that don't forget to check out the other videos this stuff is available from orchidspecies.co.uk